Two at the top of the hour, heartbreaking memories of a mother shared by her family after she's killed by a stray bullet. One man is facing charges after 29-year-old Bethany Meffert was hit while she was in her bed. Deputies say another resident was firing his weapon at suspected car burglars at the apartment complex in the Humble area yesterday. Firing his wow. weapon at suspected car burglars in the Humble. Just shooting. And we when we talking about fire, we talking about you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we ain't talking about yeah. like strategic. I bet you she live on the third floor. That would be crazy. <laughs> that would no. be crazy. No, uh, I got Rising Crime News' story in the background. Uh, Apparently, it Jason was Miles. a warning. It was a warning shot because he chased them off and they weren't moving fast enough. He fired into the ground. Oh my God! Yeah. Good, good night, y'all. All right, man. All right. Showing in the slide, Jason, the victim's yeah. family agreeing to sit down with you this afternoon, saying they don't know how they're going to go on without her. That's right. They want to make sure their loved one is just not some uh, anonymous shooting victim. They say she will be sadly missed. The shooting happened at this apartment complex behind me. The mother was in bed with her boyfriend and their toddler, but mom never woke up. This neighborhood splash pad was among her favorite places to play with her three children. But Bethany Mefford's boys, all under age seven, will now have only memories. Bethany lived for her kids. Everything that she did every day was for them. Members of Mefford's grief-stricken family agreed to speak a day after her shooting death, mainly to humanize the woman who meant so much to so many. The world lost an angel yesterday. I can't, I can't express that enough. The Harris County Sheriff's Office says Mefford was simply sleeping when a stray bullet went through her bedroom wall around 2.30 Wednesday morning. A neighbor allegedly fired up to 15 times at suspected car burglars in the parking lot of their apartment. 15. <laughs> How was that a warning shot? He just spray ah, damn, heard that bitch oh, out. How many is in a full clip? It depends what kind of gun. 16, 17. 16 and one in it. This, this is and plus, he, he, he a son, man. It's extendo season, man. Yeah. Yeah, all of a sudden, they got extendo. Says Mefford was simply sleeping when a stray bullet went through her bedroom wall around 2.30 Wednesday morning. A neighbor allegedly fired up to 15 times at suspected car burglars in the parking lot of their apartment complex, but ended up killing the beloved mother and partner. I personally looked through the bullet hole and saw the outside light. Ricardo Long was Mefford's longtime boyfriend and father of two of her kids. He and the youngest were actually in bed with her, but only realized what happened when the alarm went off. And she went out peacefully, and I, I can't, you know, she had her eyes closed. He woke up to see a bullet in his baby mother's head. Yikes. So he didn't hear that night. He probably was asleep. They're both asleep. Poof, it hits her. It, it probably didn't even wake her. She just died instantly. Boom. Right. Yeah, and he probably sleep. didn't um, notice because he probably was in deep sleep, maybe. You know what I'm saying? D deep sleep. And then he wakes up in the morning and it's probably like blood all over the poor bed and shit. Oh, my That's God. That's terrible, man. Tyler Some people... woke up in that joint. <laughs> yeah. dog. I mean, think that's just, oh, my God. That's horrible. That's worse than Ralph, y'all. That's worse than Jordan Neely. That's worse than any of these goddamn right. jigaboos that they that everybody's is, is no that the sky is falling whenever a fucking jigaboo gets killed. These are this is worse. This story is worse than all of that. So Just the news So the news report says 15 shots. She did uh Rising Crime News did this story like hours ago, and it said uh that the the man reported firing a warning shot into the ground, so uh, probably lying to the police. Yeah, this is. Wow. So the police can tell how many shots usually. Yeah, are. exactly. Right, they would pick up a shell. Mefford's grief-stricken family agreed to speak a day after her shooting death, mainly to humanize the woman who meant so much to so many. The world lost an angel yesterday. I can't, I can't express that enough. The Harris County Sheriff's Office says Mefford was simply sleeping when a stray bullet went through her bedroom wall around 2.30 Wednesday morning. 
A neighbor allegedly fired up to 15 times at suspected car burglars in the parking lot of their apartment complex, but ended up killing the beloved mother and partner. I personally looked through the bullet hole and saw the outside light. Ricardo Long was Mefford's wow. longtime boyfriend he and drugs. father of two. He looked through the bullet hole to see the light. The bullet hole through her head was so clean that he could look through the hole and see the outside lights. Or unless he's talking about the bullet hole in the wall. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought he was yeah, talking, about the, talking about the bullet hole in the wall. wall. Okay, okay. The car burglars in the parking lot of their apartment complex, but ended up killing the beloved mother and partner. I personally looked through the bullet hole and saw the outside light. Ricardo Long was. We did the story last week, and that was Texas too, right? The sun man killed the army guy. That was yeah, awesome. his neighbor. Yeah, that was his awesome. Yeah. Killed the JROTC guy or whatever through through the wall of his dorm. This is two times in Texas that we know of, because it could be more. Just in Texas in the last little while. This is. Could you imagine if in the entire country? Two white people accidentally kill black people with stray bullets in a week. That shit would be everywhere. Mm, this country would be on fire. <laughs> it would be everywhere. It was Mefford's longtime boyfriend and father of two of her kids. He and the youngest were actually in bed with her, but only realized what happened when the alarm went off. And she went out peacefully, and I, I can't. You know, she had her eyes closed. She was sleeping normal. Not normally is how this family will move on initially. And I don't know how we're going to, how we're going to go on without her. I've never experienced life without her, and I don't know how I'm going to. But we will. Especially for the three boys their mother loved so much. Jesus Christ. That's horrific, man. They don't have no fucking mama and shit. And you know she was a good mom and shit. And Mefford's yeah. oldest son named Miles. Other than living around sons. Other than living around sons. But somebody said that this used to be a good city. So maybe he's the oddball out. No, like you like as the city changed, a lot of gliders, they stubborn and shit. They don't want to leave. This is my town. Oh yeah, you. yeah. We invested as in the As soon house. as you see us, you gotta leave. As soon as you start seeing us, you gotta leave, man. Like you can't be like, oh, that's, that's a couple. Of it's them. not that bad. I'll yeah. pull my kids out of the public school, but we'll stay in the neighborhood. Like, no, leave. <laughs> you start seeing us everywhere, leave. Where there are three, you should not be. <laughs> now I'm a son, so I mean it's different for me. Even though I don't like the shit either, but I'm a son. But yeah, if you're not a son, I mean, if you're not a son, there's no options but to leave. Like a car thief, he comes out, honk, 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 like you want to be around a place where 911, someone's stealing my car, you know what I'm saying? You don't want somebody, to, ah, 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 ah. right? <laughs> you want to be around that shit, man. Right. Like nobody acts like that. You want somebody that's gonna call the police? You don't be around here to go call the police. Oh my god! She turns eight next week, just days after Mother's Day, the first Mother's Day without their mom. Meantime, the suspect in this case, 28-year-old Darius Lewis, he's charged with manslaughter. His bond right now? Manslaughter. Yeah, that's about right. Could you imagine if white I was gonna people say that sounds about right? White mm. people was protesting. Could you imagine white people protested this the way son, sons were protesting? That it would ain't be, uh, involuntary manslaughter would normally be the charge. It's a reckless discharge of a a, a weapon that, that is uh, a dangerous weapon that results in a death. Here he is right that, now. I, that's the proper Cole charge. Appeared before a judge accused of killing a woman with a stray bullet. Police say Darius Lewis shot at a suspected car burglar, a couple of them outside of his apartment complex in northeast Harris County. 28-year-old Bethany Medford or Mefford was in bed when a bullet hit her. Lewis claims he fired the gun into the ground, but he's being held now on $75,000 bond, and he is charged with manslaughter. 75K, so he's out. So 
So he goes back to the apartment. So the, these family has to bump into him on their way to the fucking mailbox and shit. Yeah, <laughs> oh shit, man. Uh, yeah. 